Okay, let's have a look at how to manage vector file export. That's exporting vector files to pixel images or JPG images. So many people are having trouble with this. Creating very small files in SVG and expecting them to translate when you enlarge them in, as PNGs or display them on a website. So let's have a look at what's going on here. Create your vector file in designer first. This canvas is 210 by 297, or A4 size, and all layers are vector layers and all objects are curves, etc. It's a typical um, vector file format. Now, the original vector is 210 by 297 millimeters. That's A4 size. That's an A4 sheet of paper. So it's quite large to start with, and that's what we want. Got a yellow rectangle and some purple writing. Now, export as standard SVG in the same size. This makes the image scalable to any size. That is, the exported SVG is 210 by 297. Now, as it's an SVG, you could enlarge that to the size of a building, if you like, and it's still going to be nice. Nice and smooth edges. However, what happens is people export that to a PNG file or a JPG file and make it very small. Now, this is a, an example logo. If you export it as a standard PNG or logo size, now this image is only 200 pixels by 300 pixels. You can see it's quite small. That's how its actual size looked on the screen. And you can see it there in the export persona, 200 pixels by 283. A nice, small, lovely looking little logo. But what happens if you then try and enlarge it? Put it on your big computer screen. Expand it on your iPad. Enlarge it however you like, and that's exactly what happens. Scale it up and you can see that it's being distorted. That's because it's a PNG file. It's a pixel file. And you're enlarging it to a size bigger than you saved it as. You could make it smaller and it'll retain its sharpness, but you make it bigger and it will go all jaggy. Next, exported PNG full size. So let's look at that same PNG exported to 210 by 297 millimeters, or 2481 pixels by 3508 pixels. That's a full A4 page PNG export. And there it is scaled up and you can see that it's not being distorted up to its full size of 210 by 297. No distortion at all. But if you take that over that and make it say A3 size or A1 size, really big as a broadsheet, it's going to go all jaggy because you're taking the PNG file to a size it can't handle. You, you use your SVG file for that. So, the moral of the story is, if you're designing anything that you want scalable, make it a large vector file first. Say, maybe even 210 by 297. That's A4 size, by the way, as I said. And you can then enlarge it or reduce it as you wish. So long as it's an SVG file. If it's a PNG file, you can only enlarge it a little bit before it starts to go jaggy and horrible. So remember if you're going to export your file to a PNG, export it to the end result size. And then even if it's a small one, 200 by 300 pixels, put it on a screen and try and make it bigger than that on your web page for example, it'll go all jaggy. So you have to be careful with PNG or JPG pixel files. Make them the size you want them and the size you're going to display them as. Otherwise, you'll end up with the jaggies. Okay, that's the end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.